Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to install MongoDB and Cloud9. So let's get started. Basically, just copy and paste these lines one line at a time. Copy, paste, make dir data. Let's create data. Oh wait. My bad. Okay. Let's do it again. Make dir data. So it store that's the stores all your database. Copy paste this. This does. I don't know what it does. That sets up the MongoD. And then Chamad MongoD. And we're going to start the server. Cool. Let's do it. Server is started. Cool. Now let's see DDD. And then we're going to Mongo. Cool. We're in the server. Sorry. Control C. Clear. That's Mongo. Alright, cool. We're in shell. Um, yeah, make sure there's two terminals. So you can go window, new terminal, like that. Okay, maybe I just do that because that was bad. Make sure I close it. Um, so we're going to go window, new terminal, Mongo. Okay, we're in Mongo. So we can type in help. Show DBS, show collections, stuff like that. <coughs> DB help to help you with methods. So let's show DB. Okay, these are the two DBS, show DBS, that's the first command. And then there's use to use like a database. But we have none, so we're gonna call that use database. Alright, first of all, we're gonna DB data insert name I'm gonna use Jason and then job developer sure why not and cool show DBS Use data. Okay, then DB data find. No, it should be DB find. Apparently it doesn't like this. Hmm, can find thing. Let's just scan just use database. So DB database insert name Jason job developer okay show dbs empty there it goes uh database is not empty so it should be db database fine so we learned something there Dude, you have to use a database before you can store anything yeah, one object and that's a unique key cool let's insert another one um, let's 
do guy front end cool let's do find now I have two objects cool so yeah now it works so DB database find is like the get request so you can like read your database next next we're gonna do an update okay let's do an update so it's db database update and the first part is uh, finding one and we're gonna find myself and then we're gonna change my name to Chan or something let's do that Now let's db database find name Chan and we find that and then my information did not save at all. Only the they only inserted the name, so that's like the update it a blank. So what if I wanted to add a new property? So we're gonna go db database find name chan comma then not comma not comma and then dollar sign set and then we're gonna add a new type um special the skills photoshop and then you close your braces and you close your parens like that I did something wrong. Oh, I didn't select anyone. Oh. Still not working. Bad value. <sighs> Let me look at the docs for update. No, that's not fine. Oh, I put fine. Oh, that is why. It should be update. Update. I don't think I need this part. There you go. And we're gonna DB database find again. And yeah, now I update to Chan and the skills Photoshop. That's pretty cool. So, and that is how you do an update with. If you want to add like a new type or a prototype in the database, or we call it an object. So now we're gonna show a delete. So it's that. So it's db database remove. 
and we're going to remove name Shan because I don't want the last name there. Limit one. You don't put limit, it's in delete everything with the same name. You don't want that. So let's do that. And it's removed and we'll db database find again. That's what database wrong. Let's find. Sorry for making some mistakes in this video. Yeah, there you go. And there's only one object left. So let's recap on what we learned. We learned um, the command mongod to start the server, mongo the shell, not the mongo shell, and then we learned help, we were mongo, and then we learned show dbs, and then we learned use. Use is like, well, use can also create databases, so use a, use a database name or like anything, or before you, um, Use um, db database insert, and then you put your object lateral in there. So make sure you use the database, use the use command first to create the database. And I'm also gonna have a cheat sheet under. Oh crap, I forgot to do a tutorial. I'm not gonna edit that out. <sighs> oh, I gotta track it for a second there. <sighs> you guys didn't hate me. So, I was, I was working on the database and then I commented. Okay. So, yeah, I was doing insert and then there's also do update. So, db database. update so object lateral and the first one is find and the second one is updated to your new name and properties so it's very easy so it's like namespace namespace method name namespace namespace method very cool so it's programming and this is a no sql database and then there's a db database remove object lateral again and then don't forget there's a limit so you can delete how many you want like one or two or we'll always go to one <laughs> and be as specific as possible when you're deleting like name Richard and then type mail or something so you don't delete like everything so this ends my tutorial and uh, till next time guys uh, keep on hacking and I hope you learned something about MongoDB and it's way easier than MySQL but this is the basics so of uh, CRUD that basics are more complicated but this is like pretty easy because all you gotta do is just chain more information into like the objects so it could be like name you know you get a name and then category and then just, just type stuff like that
So yeah, and I'm done. Bye guys.